1953, North American Aviation proposed a carrier-based, long-range, all-weather strike bomber to the U.S. Navy. The bomber would be capable of carrying nuclear weapons at supersonic speeds. The Navy made some revisions, but accepted the proposal and a contract was signed in August 1956. The first flight of the Vigilante took place August 31, 1958. At the time, the Vigilante was the most complex aircraft ever to operate from a Navy aircraft carrier. It did not have ailerons, instead it used spoilers in conjunction with all moving tail surfaces. Unusual materials such as aluminium lithium and titanium was used for parts of the structure. The Vigilante had a crew of two, a pilot and a bombardier navigator. The A-5 was powered by two General Electric J-79 turbojet engines. The powerful engines made the Vigilante very fast. However, the high speed also contributed to a high workload during carrier landings. The Vigilante had advanced and complex electronics. It used one of the first fly-by-wire systems on an operational aircraft, as well as a computerized navigation and attack system with a head-up display. It also had a multi-mode radar, radar-equipped navigation system and a closed-circuit television camera under the nose. An early digital computer was used to control it all. The main armament of the aircraft was carried in a linear bomb bay between the engines and the rear fuselage. This allowed bombs to be dropped at supersonic speeds. The A-5 could carry a singular Mark 28 nuclear bomb, which was dropped together with two disposable fuel tanks. The system was not very reliable, and no loaded weapons were ever carried in the bomb bay. On three occasions, the catapult launch from the carrier ejected the fuel tanks onto the deck, which led to one lost aircraft. The reconnaissance version, the RA-5C, had a slightly greater wing area, and a multisensor reconnaissance pack under the fuselage. This added a side-looking radar, an infrared line scanner and camera packs. It also added improved electronic countermeasures. It could still carry weapons, but never did in service. The RA-5C was 5 tons heavier than the strike version, which reduced its acceleration and climb rate. The Vigilante, at first designated the A-3J-1, entered service in June 1961, replacing the Douglas A-3 Sky Warrior in the strategic nuclear strike role. In 1962 it was redesignated the A-5. The initial service of the A-5 was troublesome. The advanced systems had poor reliability, but most of these issues were eventually worked out. However the aircraft remained a maintenance-intensive platform. During the service of the A-5, there was a major policy shift in the U.S. Navy's strategic role. Submarine-launched ballistic missiles replaced manned bombers, resulting in the conversion of A-5s to the fast reconnaissance role. Eight RA-5C Vigilante squadrons saw service in the Vietnam War from 1964. The Vigilantes carried out post-strike reconnaissance missions. 18 RA-5Cs were lost in combat, and another 9 were lost in accidents. While the Vigilante proved useful, it was also expensive and complex to operate. Another issue was that it took up a lot of hangar and deck space on carriers. The final deployment of the Vigilante was completed in late 1979. In total, 167 vigilantes were produced.